The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the San Francisco 49ers. end zone Isaiah McKenzie and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 into the air right away is Allen the throw on target to his receiver McKenzie and he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there five yards on the game's first play second down I always laugh when people say what's the toughest route to defend and I'm like any of them especially if it's a good receiver that makes things very difficult but when you're running a drag route something short shallow going through defenders using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open that makes things tougher guys trying to get to the football Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He did a fine job there not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Allen. He finds his man complete. It's McKenzie. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker, fourth down. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. That's to his running back, complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now Allen again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Allen, that's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute. It Under pressure, and he will go down. Set back at the 38. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, he's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, Defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Second and goal. Allen. Touchdown, Bills. James Cook. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 18. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 12, 12. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. McCaffrey running up the middle. Bulldozes past him. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 44 yards rushing so far. And this is just their first possession. They've got a new set of downs here. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. This is McCaffrey on the give. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. There's Garoppolo to throw. Touchdown, 49ers! Tyler Croft, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Niners are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From the six. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. You know, he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. It's complete to Diggs. Finding space at the 40 and past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. From midfield, here's Allen. And this one is incomplete. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because he just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up, it's seven. down and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete and their backs up against the wall a little bit and they come through by forcing an incompletion now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down Here's Allen. Completes it to Davis. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. And again, it's Allen. The refined digs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Bills have taken the lead. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Garoppolo looks to throw. And hauled in by Croft. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. 11, 11. Play action, Garoppolo. And incomplete on the deep ball. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's here another go, example, go. another incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On play action, it's Garoppolo. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. 
And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. To throw again on second down. Allen. And it's intercepted. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness, it's been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here we go. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A gain of seven that time, second goal. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. From that, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Gold is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. But well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. On first down, this is McCaffrey. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to duck through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second and seven, Garoppolo. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Throw it outside. McCaffrey's got it. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's third and four now. The defense is ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Here 
In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On play action, now Garoppolo. Able to haul it in is Kittle. He's going to pick up the first down and in some. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 57 yards. And the Niners have taken the lead here this third quarter. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 17-14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw, it's Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 32-yard line. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Final minute now in the third quarter. On second and nine, Allen. And he finds his man, that's Sweeney. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They run here with Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Tyler Bass now for the point after. It's up and good to make it 21-17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They had seized the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not been able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. Call it a gain of two as time has run out on this third quarter of play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
Here we go, here we go. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. This one caught by Kittle. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. McCaffrey and no room that time getting it to about the 46 credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine well sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense great job there at the point of attack holding up they won their battles at the line of scrimmage left him no space to try and run a really nice job swarming to the ball carrier here we go, here we go, here we go. the run only got a yard here's second and nine to throw. It's Garoppolo. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. This a second and seven from the 37. McCaffrey and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage and now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 157 to go in the ball game so it's third and six and this will be the eighth play of the drive to throw is Garoppolo is going to be incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Gotta have this one. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. On the defensive side of the ball, that's the definition of frustrated. You get them to fourth down, and then you allow a chunk play like that in the passing game. Almost felt as if that play was drawn up in the dirt on the sideline. 
They pulled that from a game plan that wasn't this game, and they still made it work. Here we go. Here Only we go. way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Hey. They'll run with Mitchell, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Once more with Mitchell, and this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Back to throw, Garoppolo. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. East in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the 49ers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 40. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's Allen. On oh, a huge mistake late, it's intercepted. Picked up by Javarius Ward. And a foot. 